Are root canals connected to chronic disease, autoimmune disease, and even cancer, or even breast cancer? My name is Dr. Lonnie Herman, and I'm gonna share with you great insight to a patient who I've gotten to examine, where we're gonna see this tooth. This is a root canal tooth that was extracted, upon my request, extracted from her mouth because I found in my research, my examination process with her, that I believe that root canal was infected and it was causing or linked to the growth of the abnormal tissue in her breast. This woman had already gone through chemo and radiation. She had genetic tests done, and she also believes that she's got to be able to strengthen her body and take away anything that may provoke uh, or allow the cancer to come back. So my applause to her for uh, helping herself uh, heal and have the, you know, more cancer in her breast, yet I also applaud her for listening to and reading and, and, and keeping an open mind and an open heart for being able to understand that there are other reasons for cancer to grow in the body. So this is a picture of her tooth, and if you want to learn more about this tooth and the infections in it and where I found these, then keep listening to this video. There's gonna be a short and sweet video and maybe bring more awareness to you and your body and if you're dealing with a breast cancer, another kind of cancer. Okay, so this picture that I'm showing you now is a picture of this woman's uh, tooth. She's in her 40s, came to my clinic in South Florida, where I practice now, from Israel. And uh, that tooth, I told her when I first examined her back in about October of 2018, that there was nothing that I could do for her until she extracted this tooth, because I believe the tooth was linked to uh, stressing her lymphatic system, her spleen, which you need healthy to help you fight cancer, and her... Uh, breast tissue. I believe there was a direct link from the tooth down to the breast. You can uh, also look at, if you're interested, look up the dental meridian chart where the German uh, dentist many years ago had discovered that uh, there are links between teeth and body parts and when a tooth is diseased that can actually cause a body part disease. We've got to expand beyond that meridian dental chart and understand that when there's infection that's in any body part, the infection can spread elsewhere. So I don't believe that a tooth is just in a meridian or in an energy line in the body. I believe that it can go travel from a tooth to anywhere else in the body, whether it's to your thyroid or it's to your parathyroid or to your brain or to your spinal cord or your breast tissue or your lymph nodes or your lymph or your ovary for a woman or to a prostate for a man or anywhere in the body these infections can spread to the liver, to the pancreas, anywhere. And so, when we don't have pain in a tooth and it's covered by a cap here, as I'm gonna describe the parts of this tooth that you'll see, when, it's, when it, you don't feel pain and it looks uh, healthy to the dentist and normal, and there's no infection coming out of it that they can see when they do their visual inspection, they'll tell you it's okay, you keep thinking it's okay, yet there's a lot of research out there that says that these dead, infected root canal teeth are actually linked to disease in the body. So before I get into describing some of the uh, parts of this image here, I want to share with you a research paper to actually prove uh, my point uh, to a certain degree here. And this paper came out of what's called the Journal of Mucosal Immunology. And this journal, what these scientists did, not about a root canal, but understand infections in the root canal can lead to disease in the body. That's the point I'm making here. So I mean, in this journal, what they did was they studied that there were infections in the gums. They found and named the parasitic infection, microscopic organism, in the gums of these patients. They were able to find that when they took samples of the synovial fluid, the fluid in the joint, where these people with rheumatoid arthritis, they had rheumatoid arthritis, they found in the joint that there was the same exact parasite and they made conclusive statement that the parasite that was in the gums was also in the joint and it was causing the inflammation in the joint that led to the rheumatoid arthritis. And then they also did studies on the arteries in the body. They took samples of biopsy, uh, the, uh, biopsy samples of the arteries and they found that the same parasite was in the arteries in the body and they made a direct conclusive statement that the parasite that was in the artery caused the hardening of the artery, also called arterial sclerosis. You can read that journal on your own. So whenever there's an infection that's in the gums or in the tooth, that it can lead to disorder inflammation in the body. If you wanna believe that uh, all uh, cancers are, are genetically caused, well, there's research about epigenetics where the scientists have discovered that the environmental uh, stimuli or stresses in the environment will cause that gene expression, okay? So what is in the environment that can cause a gene expression? Well, we do know about certain chemicals like uh, glyphosate weed killer spray that has just been a $2 billion uh, settlement was just uh, 
uh, from what I read in the, in the news about, um, about where the glyphosate is made, that they, they were fined $2 billion, I believe is, was the number, uh, because they found that glyphosate weed killer spray does cause cancer. And there's other things that can cause cancer. There's dioxins in our environment, and maybe there's some anesthetics that are used in people's bodies that can actually decrease the function of the lymphatic system and uh, decrease the function of the immune system. Because when they inject you or put you to sleep with the uh, propofol or with the local anesthetic like lidocaine, that these, and we have to use them for surgeries and dental work, but these anesthetics can get into our tissues and degrade the function of the tissue. They don't just pee them out of the body. Uh, so there's also electromagnetic field stresses that can do it, and there's a lot of research pointing to cell phones and uh, Wi Fi towers and, and cell phone towers and Wi Fi modems and, and a number of different electric occurrence that are going through our, our, our area, through our, the, the air that we're walking in, where these electrical currents are actually causing changes of blood chemistry, of blood cell formation. There's actually, and I'll try to find and put up here, an image that showed a, a blood cell analysis. They took somebody's blood, put it under a microscope, and they found all the red blood cells were separate the way they're supposed to be healthy, and then they gave that person a cell phone that had no EMF or microwave radiation protection on it to protect the person, and then they, 15 minutes on the cell phone, and then after 15 minutes, they took a spot of their blood again under the microscope, and you can see what's called a rouleau formation, all the blood cells stacked on top of one another. Okay, so there are different uh, uh, environmental stimuli, different infections and chemicals and emotions and electromagnetic stresses that can cause your body to not be able to clean itself up from these abnormal cells called cancer cells. Well, let's get back to this. In this root canal, let's scroll through the image here. I'm going to point out, uh, I'll put an arrow by each part as I describe it. You'll see the root uh, laying down on the side. She brought me this tooth in a vial here for the work I do with her. That because when you pull a root canal, first of all, before I tell you the findings here, when you pull a root canal, that may help to, let's say, let's say describe as, as turning off the fuel that's feeding the fire, okay? But it doesn't remove the infections that migrate from the tooth to the thyroid or the breast or the lymph or the spleen or the kidney or the intestines. It doesn't take those infections away. When you pull this, it doesn't just rip all the infection out of the body that, that migrated from the tooth. I've got a unique system where I can actually go find where those infections from the tooth went in the body and provide remedies to remove those infections from those parts of the body. I'll get into that in a few minutes. Now, looking at this tooth, and I'll show you another uh, root canal image in, in just a moment after this woman's root canal, and this other person had Parkinson's disease. I'll show you this, this tooth in just a moment here. So this, um, this tooth, you can see, also I put the arrow coming out of the root, you can see a little dark area because the tooth broke into pieces again. There's a dark area that's, that's showing very clear in the root of the tooth. Uh, then you'll see in a piece of the tooth that broke off of that root, you'll see a nice, I shouldn't call it nice, a big black spot in there. That is infected uh, a canal. That's infection that makes it go black or dark brown like that. When they fill the root canal with the, with the material that they pack it with, it's a white or off-white kind of color, not brown. The reason why it's brown is because infection in there. Then you'll look at another piece of the tooth that broke off. You'll see the area that I'll point out with the arrow that there's infection on there as well. And now what you're going to see is a piece of the crown. Imagine a, a cup upside down covering the tooth. So when they took this tooth out, they took the crown off with it, and now what you're looking at is the inside of the crown. This is, the crown was actually broken in half, and you're looking at the inside surface of it, the surface that was on top of the tooth, okay? So when they took this off, and you're seeing it broke, and you can see the inside, look at the edge of that crown, the edge that was touching the, the outer part of the tooth. You can see how dark brown it looks, like a moldy, dirty, disgusting appearance in there. That's infection that was there underneath the crown. And now I'll put other arrows showing the inside of the crown, the surface that actually touched onto the tooth. You can see the infection in there. This is not dirt. Nobody painted this on. This is not dirt that she played in a, a playground with her children and got dirty in the mouth. This is from infection that was breeding in the tooth and breeding underneath that crown for at least the five years that the, uh, that the crown and the root canal procedure was done. It was silent. It didn't hurt her. It was interesting because when I told her that that root canal was part of the condition and I couldn't do continue the evaluation, that we had to get that tooth pulled in order to move forward, her, she, she mentioned, and I love, she's a wonderful person, I'm not knocking her at all, but I remember that she went up to her, um, her husband at the time, 
who said uh, he thought that I was crazy, that there's nothing wrong with the tooth. Who is this guy talking about the tooth? And so when she came back to me in January of 2019 with the tooth, with a big smile on her face, she said, Dr. Herman, I got the tooth pulled. The dentist told me that there was nothing wrong with the tooth when they did their exam and their CT scan and their x-ray. They said everything was fine. And I told them I want the tooth pulled because I believe that the tooth, I had a feeling it was infected from what you shared with me. And I read research and I just wanted it out of my mouth. So they pulled it against their against their recommendation, they pulled it up because that's what I requested, my tooth, my mouth. So what happened, again, their eyes almost bolted out of their skull when they saw the infection that was in the tooth. They were in shock when it happened, she told me, and she was so happy. Let's get into, let's get into here, um, if you'd like to hear, you can, uh, at this point of watching this, you can do your own research. Go look about root canals. Maybe you want to look up the video root cause that was recently taken down from uh, uh, Netflix. There are other root canal videos, I'm sure, online. Uh, and so you can make your own decision of what you want to believe. But the evidence speaks for itself. And the evidence of the other, let's look at this other root canal before I let you go here. Look at this other root canal. This is a tooth that came out of a man's mouth. He was 42 or 43 years old. This is going back several years in my practice. I had him pull this root canal. I told him the root canal, I have felt it was infected and it was wrong for him. And this is not pulling all of his teeth. We're not doing anything, uh, 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 you know, don't exaggerate this, that I'm telling everybody to pull all their teeth in their mouth and you're gonna have a problem with what I'm doing. I'm telling you, this man's tooth, when it was pulled and the dentist who I sent him to said there was nothing wrong with the tooth, I saw the x-ray. It looked like just a white filling inside the root canal. And when they pulled the tooth and the patient came back to me in my clinic, which he was able to function a lot better after the tooth was pulled. It's not always that simple and fast of improvement of function by pulling a tooth, but he's able to get up and out of the chair, uh, sit down and stand up, sit down and stand up without any stress, which he couldn't do before the tooth was pulled. That tooth, you can see, because I called the dentist and said, what is this black thing? Look at the arrow. I'm pointing it at this little thing sticking out of the, out of the bottom of the root canal. It's very obvious there what you can see. I called the dentist and I said, what is that? Is that lead or something? Because I told him that the tooth was infected. He didn't want to pull it. And he asked the patient. The patient said to follow Dr. Herman's advice, uh, recommendation. And when he pulled it, he was surprised. He told me, how did you know? He said, that tooth is infected. Did you know there was no metal in there? You, could, you saw the x-ray. You know there was nothing. It was infected. So very interesting. It's another image of a root canal. I'll show you another one. I'm going to show you another one right now of a tooth where a crown. I told a woman this tooth, which wasn't a root canal tooth. This tooth and a woman with Hashimoto's thyroid disease, a very delightful, wonderful, beautiful woman. Uh, and I told her that part of her Hashimoto's thyroid disease was coming from a tooth in her mouth that was crowned. She told me her dentist disagreed with me, that the dentist who's seen her for however many years in a 20-year-old uh, a crown on her mouth, that the tooth was just fine, only floss around it and clean around it, the tooth was fine. She did against her, her, her original um, uh, belief, she did go to another dentist I sent her to. He pulled his tooth and look at what happened when the crown was removed from the tooth. It was black inside. The tooth was eroded. The pulp of the tooth was diseased. There was infection underneath and you couldn't see it with an x-ray. You couldn't see it with a CT scan. You couldn't see it by the regular dental vision goggles or uh, glasses that they look on by picking at the mouth, they couldn't see it. It was under the crown. So there's more proof that infections can exist in the mouth and lead to disease in the body. So with all that said, I can share with you now the findings. If you want to hear about these findings from her exam where I found these infections from the root canal, great, then continue to the rest of this video. If not, you can just call my clinic at 954-370-3100 and make an appointment with me. You can also email my clinic assistant at office.askdrherman at gmail.com and we can help arrange an appointment. And it's not just about root canals. It's about other toxins or infections that can get in your body that may make you ill. I found that her root canal, I believe, went to her right and left kidney, to the left breast where the cancer was, to her lymph nodes, I also found it on the thymus gland, which is the gland behind the breastbone that matures your white blood cells. Your white blood cells are cells that help you fight infection. I found the root canal infection was in her spleen. I practice a very unique bioresonance method where I can find the infection in any tissue. I found the root canal was in her liver. I found the root canal was also in her blood. The infection from it was in her blood. When she came back to me, remedies were provided to remove all those infections from the tissues I just mentioned. 
she came back to me in May. I found that that root canal, a small amount of it was still, the infection was still in the lymph nodes. I found it in her, uh, a small amount of it left in the left breast tissue. I found it in the cortex of her brain, which is the part of the brain that tells the body how to work. I also found that uh, a small amount of the uh, root canal was in the, what's called the reticuloendothelial tissue. So the fibers that make up your bones, your cartilage, your lymph vessels, your blood vessels, we have uh, the endothelial lining, I should call it. Uh, she had the root canal infections in those tissues. The root canal was in her diaphragm. The infection from the root canal in her diaphragm. The infection from the root canals had spread to her uterus. And, and that was it. So there are other findings I didn't get into detail in here about her protocols. But the infection can spread from the tooth to go anywhere in the body and, and be one of the reasons that will provoke disease expression in the body. And you deserve to know about this. That's why I'm putting this video up. You make your own decision. Whether you like it or don't like it, infections cause disease, period. And whether you like it or don't like it, you may have an infection in your tooth, even if your dentist tells you everything is fine, and it may be causing disease in your body. And that's, that's the reality. I proved it to you here. I've shown you three teeth, okay? I can show you many more that I show in my other videos. I've got a whole collection of teeth here in my clinic where I've had these teeth extracted by, uh, by dentists for a cer certain reasons from what I found in a very unique dental examination that I performed in my clinic with patients. You can contact my clinic at 954-370-3100. That's 954-370-3100. And you can and or uh, email my clinic at uh, office.askdrherman at gmail.com. I'll put that information up here on the screen. Uh, patients come to my clinic from all around the world, from Israel, from Norway, Netherlands, China, we've had Russia, we've had Romania, we've had uh, uh, New Zealand and Australia and uh, South, America, South Africa and Africa and Mexico, Canada, United Kingdom uh, and other parts. We've had people come in from different places to come for this unique, treat, uh, for this unique exam and, and the kind of protocols that I offer. Um, uh, and I will tell you also that insurance, just to let you know, insurance does not cover this kind of unique work that I offer, so it is an investment in yourself. Uh, I've got a unique, uh, uh, well-rounded bit of education in neurology, neurochemistry, neuroimmunology, alternative cancer uh, care, uh, endocrinology, blood chemistry analysis, gastrointestinal disease and thyroid disease and developmental disorders of the brain and a number of things. So uh, we're coming into this to work with you and for you to help you clear up whatever is going on in your body that may be connected to uh, a, a chronic disease and or cancer. Your body can heal itself when you take away the causes. Again, I'm not against this woman that she did her, uh, her chemo and radiation. It's her choice. It's her, it's her body. And right now they're showing no cancer and she's very happy and smiling and enjoying her life and she feels more rested. And now we are going on a diligent journey to clean up wherever these infections and toxins are in the body. Okay, look forward to helping you. Hopefully this video has made a difference or sparked your interest in your life on how you can help yourself to get better.